Mate, I just want to bring up something that happened today mm. in our lunchroom so that people can get an insight into how your brain actually works. <laughs> yeah, this will be good, yeah. Because it's out there. Mm. Got my lunch, put it in the microwave to heat it up, yep. open the cupboard, which is where our cutlery is in the cupboard with all the plastic containers. Yeah. Get a fork out mm. and you just go to me, how do you choose your fork? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what What did you just say? How do you choose your fork? Well, because I had gone through the same process only a matter of minutes before you did. You know, you go in there, you dive into what is like a literally a mixed bag of cutlery. It's communal cutlery, which is gross in itself. It's just been left behind and it's sort of free mm. for all. You choose what you want to choose. Yeah. But that's what got me thinking. Like, because I always rummage around to try and find what I deem to be a suitable and adequate fork for what I'm about to eat. And I, so it varies from meal to meal? Well, not really. And they're always kind of the same, I guess. And it just sort of got me thinking, does anyone else do this or is it just me? So I just, And you were the next person to come in. Lucky me. But how, but how do you choose a fork? Because I, I, now that we've spoken about it, I, mm. I feel like this is something that everyone goes through. I think everyone has a process when it comes to choosing a fork from, mm. the, from the mixed bag of cutlery. I like a wider fork okay. so that I can kind of fit more stuff on there and yeah. not all, have it all fall off. Okay. You like a long, decent size handle? Yeah, the handles don't phase me, bit but of white, I'll bit always of wh- choose the shorter, stubbier ones, bit I think. A bit of weight to it? I've never thought about the weight of it. Like, do, you, do you like the feel of a sturdy fork, or do you like a thin, cheap, flimsy fork? I guess if I was choosing, I wouldn't be going for a, a thin, cheap one. Well, see, that's what I normally go for. I normally go for, like, just the just low-rent fork. Just The lightest one? The lightest, cheapest Sort of no detailing. I don't want any patterns on there. Oh, so a pattern bothers you? Yeah, I don't like any patterns or anything. I just want just a sort of straight stainless steel. Okay. Light, cheap, not too big. I like it like a medium-sized fork. David, when it comes to like choosing cutlery from like a communal box, what do you look for in a fork, mate? Like what are you going for? Is it heavy? Is it thin? Do you like a bit of detail? Or do you just jump straight in and pick whatever's there? Probably look for a shiny one and like at least that way I think it's clean. Right, okay. Shine. What about the size and weight of it? Is that important to you at all? Oh, size and weight, not so much, but at least, like, a good length on the fore, on the spiny parts, but... um. On the tines? That's about it. Yep, yep, on, on the tines. Is that what they're called? The tines, yes. All right, yeah, who knew? The, there you go. You guys both learned something today. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> what about any sort of, like, fancy detailing on the fork? You know how some can have, like, some patterns on the handle? <laughs> no, no, I'd rather the, the handle just be plain... Yeah. Still, like, okay. nice and shiny. Same as me, yeah, just just plain. Back in the day, mum used to have sporks. Yeah, right. And I felt like I could get so much on a spork. <laughs> well, but with the long ones, I just feel like it all falls off. Well, no, no, if you're eating spaghetti, you need the long tines. Okay, hey, each their own when it comes to forks. <laughs> all right? This is the weirdest blades, conversation blades we've ever had. Blades are very good as well. Sorry? Like, blades are very good, but... I don't know, long, long times on uh-huh. a fork, I reckon. Is yeah, a like spoon knives, yes. Yeah, is a splade similar to a spork? Well, like it's like a. They're both half spoons, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, a splade is a, is a is spork. A, spork. Yeah. Yeah. a spoon and a, a splade. Spoon. A spoon and a splade have the same mother. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Ow! Seriously. <laughs>